Jackson Health System opened its appointment website to seniors age 65 and older today, and it did not take long before all available slots were filled, leaving thousands of people frustrated. CBS 4's Peter Dench joins us live from JMH with the latest. Peter. Well, Lauren, we can tell you they lined up for hours here outside the Lynn Rehabilitation Center. And we found out that some people were actually turned away because there were not enough vials of the Pfizer vaccine. Now, it's all a direct result of some 12,000 appointments after, get this, 80,000 people went online today through jacksonhealth.org. Many people got their appointments by going online, especially early. It's a long line of people 65 years and older that weaves its way around the Lynn Rehabilitation Center at Jackson Memorial Hospital. They had made appointments to receive the Pfizer vaccine, just as these people did on Monday. I'm thrilled. I'm thrilled. My husband is a COVID survivor, so we're very happy to know that we got it. Now we could relax. Hundreds waited patiently here in line at the Lynn Rehab Center. I'm excited. Uh, one less headache to worry about. Were you really worried about this coronavirus? Well, I was extremely sick from it. I was in the hospital for a total of nine weeks. Even though Jackson Health System said the website would not open until 11 a.m., Lisa Treister made her appointment just after 10 in the morning. Heard from a neighbor I could get on early. I ran and got on. It took Treister 15 minutes to make an appointment for next Sunday at the Lynn Rehab Center, one of three sites, including North Dade Health Center and Jackson South Medical Center, opened by Jackson. I'm thrilled to be able to get the vaccine because I want to be able to do things again, see my grandchild, do a little travel. But I mainly don't want to get sick. I, I have, you know, issues, health issues from the past. Maury Layden had also hoped to get an appointment. I just don't want to get sick. I have lots of underlying conditions. I, I, I have a lot I still want to do, so I don't want to get sick and suffer the consequences of getting COVID. Like many, Layden thought she could make an appointment at 11. I was able to get to... Uh, through the whole process until I came to the scheduling part and, and then it doesn't let you put in the date or the time. At 1240, Jackson tweeted it had booked more than 12,000 vaccine appointments and will continue to open more slots as they receive additional vaccines. I'm pretty persistent and I'll keep trying, but it doesn't, you know, somebody's got to do something to make these websites work. Well, a persistent Maury Layden may have to wait until next Monday when a new round of appointments should open up. Meanwhile, a spokesman for Jackson Health System told us they opened up their website earlier than expected today because of overwhelming demand. Some people actually went online as early as 9 in the morning. We're live at Jackson Memorial Hospital. Peter Dench, CBS 4 News.